Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Tuesday, July 4th, 2017. And today in our Tech News Update, we have Samsung that is apparently working on a smart speaker. It is codenamed Vega and will use the Bixby Assistant. Now this is interesting because today we learn also that Bixby is not available in the United States right now because of lack of data. So uh, the Bixby assistant is you know a latecomer to the um, basically assistance smart assistance for devices and it's having a lot of problems really you know getting there and and, and, and working basically so uh, kind of interesting to see that even though Bixby is still kind of broken that a smart speaker is actually in the works we'll see what happens with that well, Microsoft did confirm that there will be a huge reorganization of the marketing and sales. They did not mention yesterday anything about layoffs, but a lot of analysts are expecting thousands of layoffs at Microsoft in the sales and marketing department. Uh, according to Mary Jo Foley, also, it's to better prepare the um, company for the future of you know small businesses as it wants to really compete very strongly against Amazon Web Services and also with the Google Cloud Services. So this is a reorganization that will make Microsoft apparently more efficient. Well, in the UK, it seems that the National Health Service violated UK privacy laws when it actually gave details on 1.6 million patients to the DeepMind AI from Google of course, the uh, idea about behind this is the fact that um, Google will, of course, use artificial intelligence to kind of, you know, get more information on the health of the general population and maybe improve the treatments and um, learn more about how to basically heal people of different diseases. But the fact that all that information was given to Google apparently violates the UK privacy laws. So we'll see if there's anything that's going to happen with that. Well, Microsoft is good at doing things like that. Um, on build 2017, they were announcing one of the features that, of course, a lot of people found interesting, which was the Windows timeline timeline feature, which just basically you could you know go back in time and find a old picture or a older document of something, and it was one of the main features that were talked about but problem is it won't make the cut to the fall creators update microsoft did say yesterday nope it's not going to be there it's not going to be ready it's going to be pushed to the march uh, update in 2018 so um, sad to see that they're pushing some of these features once again according to comscore in the month of march which is the last numbers we've got in the United States, Bing actually was 33% of searches, and it's a huge increase, making Bing a pretty big player now in the searches in the United States. In the UK, also, it's been up to 26%. So, you know, when we talk about giants that dominate sometimes, you got to be careful. You never know what can come up. It's still, of course, far from the Google searches, but still, it's starting to get a really really good share of the search market well Winamp if you've been using computers and Windows for a long time of course you probably remember Winamp and as it's celebrating a little more than 20 years now it is interesting to look back at this piece of software which dominated the music digital music back in the late 90s and part of the early 2000s and it seems that what made it really fall is when it was acquired by AOL in 2000 for about $100 million. Now, it still exists, but it doesn't seem that no one wants to use it anymore. And um, basically, Facebook, a uh, interesting little news item here about a woman in the United States that sued Facebook, saying that she had no privacy even when logged out of the Facebook app because when you have third-party apps that want you to like it actually helped Facebook track you where you were well the judge said you know what 
there's no problem there. Um, Facebook is not a problem in, in, in a sense that if you use Facebook, you should kind of know that privacy is not necessarily there and that there's no real damage done to you because of that. And that even though it's tracking you everywhere, doesn't actually change anything. So the judge said, nope, no privacy problem there. And uh, this was the tech news for Tuesday, July 4th, 2017. Happy 4th of July to our American viewers. And hope you enjoy our videos. If you like, please give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.